हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरीन इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नेटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गोट टॉक अबाउट मॉडिफिकेशन व्हिच आर डन इन अ कॉसेट बियरिंग द मॉडिफिकेशन बेसिकली वी टॉक अबाउट टुडे इज अ वाइट पैड कॉसेट बियरिंग व्हाट इज द वाइट पैड कॉसेट बियरिंग व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड वाइट पैड हाउ द डिजाइन लुक लाइक्स ओके व्हाट मॉडिफिकेशन इज बी डन कंपेयर टू द अदर टाइप ऑफ कॉसेट बियरिंग लुब्रिकेशन what was earlier there and what happened after running a specific period of time how this bearing look like so i think after watching the video you will have a complete knowledge about the white pad cosset bearing so please tune in last i guarantee that you will learn a lot so let's begin today video before beginning the today video i want to request all of you those who are new to this platform marine engineering hub is a platform which make the video for marine engineers and the sailors who are out at sea which will help them for the examination purpose and also for the ship service so please subscribe and please do share our video so that we get the encouragement it is very easy for you to subscribe but it make good value to us and it give us some encouragement let's begin the today video what is a cosset bearing okay so basically first we need to understand what is a cosset bearing so as you can see this is a piston rod this is a corn rod and this is a guide screw and this is a cosset pin and in between these two this you can see this two is a cosset bearing so basically the function of cosset is what to convert the reciprocating motion of a piston rod into the rotating motion through corn rod so basically it transmit the reciprocating motion of the piston rod through cosset pin to corn rod okay leading to the rotation of a propeller okay so basically the load while transmitting from reciprocating to the rotating is taken by the cosset pin and ultimately supported by the this bearing as you can see this bearing okay let me pin point to you this bearing okay this so this bearing is a cosset pin bearing so let's see what i have written here a new cosset bearing assembly has been introduced on the latest generation man bmw two stroke engine why it it has been in introduced the new white pad cosset design is introduced because of the increased maximum pressure what increase maximum pressure the combustion pressure is increasing to cope up with the amount of energy generation so that to make the energy more efficient engine so as the pressure in the combustion chamber is increasing day by day therefore to sustain this load the cosset bearing bearing also need modification so we come up with a wide pad bearing design this white pad bearing design is introduced when it was introduced on a m man bmw series s and g mark 9 and 10 from 2007 okay from 2007 onward the white pad bearing was introduced okay so this is how the white pad bearing look like okay we will see again so first let's talk about how the older bearing look like so this is the top of the cosset bearing and this is the lower of the cosset bearing so if you can see the lower as you can see here the oil groove is marked here running from center and both this direction also so as you can see the oil groove is from here running and this side also here running so both transverse and longitudinal direction the oil groups are running which is assisting in hydrodynamic lubrication by providing a machine edge okay so basically from here from here the oil group is been distributed when this this side is this okay this side is this side and this side is this side okay so this is the this side now from here oil is coming from center and it's going up and up 
and it getting distributed so basically the <coughs> which is helping to create an hydrodynamic lubrication okay now the new design will talk about so as you can see what i have talked about this is a center as you can see this is center hole from and this is the transverse hole and this is the longitudinal hole so the oil is coming from here the oil is coming from here okay and here and it is getting distributed from here and it is going in this direction is coming again here is distributing this direction in this direction so like this the oil is getting distributed okay so now what will happen as you can see that new design is been introduced where there is no hole in the center there is no hole in the center so and the axial groups are made more widened instead of making a center hole they have made an axial group on the side so let's see from the 2012 the white pad de design has been introduced on 80 cm and 90 cm bore engine the white pad design refer to the uninterrupted center pad this is the center pad this is the center pad this area is the center pad okay so it referred to uninterrupted center pad as you can see in this area there is no oil group like this as you can see there is a this is a side oil groups which are also present in the earlier design but here this area as you can see this area have got one oil group like that there was one hole was there so it was interrupted the earlier design was the earlier design was interrupted but this new design is not interrupted so the white pad design is an uninterrupted center pad in the loaded lower bearing cell the oil groove in the center pad have been omitted so this oil groove in the center this oil groove which is there is been omitted and the distance between the axial group has also been widened which group this as you can see this distance is also been widened okay so we have talked about how the older lubrication look like means from in the older lubrication the oil is coming from center and it getting here but here what is happening the oil is coming from here okay and it is getting transmitted because the middle now how this lubrication is happening the oil is coming from here again going this side oil is coming from here going this side and here you can see there is one big hole one big hole is there okay so this big hole the oil is flowing uninterrupted and it distributing among here automatically okay so this is the mc design earlier design and this is the white pad design why it is called white pad because there are no oil group in the center pad but here there is a oil group you can see two oil groups in the center pad and there is a hole in the center but uh, the hole is in the axial direction and this axial hole are widened so the in earlier design there was camel type pressure distribution what was there camel type pressure distribution what do you remember camel type the load was transmitted here and here okay the load was transmitted here and here but in this as there is no oil group in the loaded zone as you can see this is the loaded zone what is a loaded zone is mean to say is basically as you can see whenever the engine is moving downward it get very much load on the center it get very much load on the, on the center so this is this area this area is called this area is called loaded zone okay this area is called loaded zone so there is a oil group in the loaded zone first thing after that the lubrication is camel type the lubrication is camel type because of the oil group the lubrication is not the load is not distributed uniformly and it, therefore it is a camel type pressure distribution but here there is no oil group in the center the oil group in the axial direction therefore because as there is no oil group in the loaded region the wider pad bearing distribution is improved 
and the oil film thickness is also improved so this is the main concept of the white pad beading one more time i will repeat what difference first thing is that hole in the center there is no hole in the center the hole is in the axial direction this is the oil groups in the center there is no oil group in the center the pressure distribution is camel type because of the hole in the center as it is a loaded zone there is no hole in the center therefore at is no oil no oil groups in the center zone hence the wide pressure distribution increase oil film thickness so this is the concept of the white pad bearing so compared to traditional design this is traditional design elasto hydrodynamic bearing calculation give much lower oil film pressure in the white pad bearing so as you know compared to soldier engine man engine crosshead bearing need lubrication pressure around 3 to 5 bar normally but with this design with this design the elasto hydrodynamic bearing calculation give much lower oil film pressure in the wider bad bearing it means that suppose the 3 to 4 bar is required for this type of crosshead lubrication so this wider pad bearing ensure even if the oil pressure is around 2 to 3 bar it can provide a elasto hydrodynamic lubrication why because of the minimum oil film thickness is larger in a new white pad design so if anybody asks you why the lubrication pressure can be reduced in the wider pad design because of the minimum oil film thickness is larger and hence it is able to provide elasto hydrodynamic lubrication in the lower oil film pressure okay so now before ending the video you see this this is a wider pad bearing which is new le install and this is the wider pad bearing after 6006 running hour so as you can see there is not much worn out in the wider pad bearing so this is the advantage of a wider pad bearing so i hope in today video you have learned what is a wider pad bearing how it is different with the old crosshead bearing lubrication how the design is been different and if you gain something from this video please do subscribe please do share marine engineering hub have started their membership if you want to join you can join and if you join you will have access to a unlimited perk so please join and enjoy the video thank you friend have a good day